Let's take a look at everything new in the upcoming 1.3 update for FPS Engine. As always, there are a lot of additions and cool stuff to cover, so let's dive into it. Let's get started with this enhanced weapon tray effect that feels way better than before and it's very easy to customize. Still, we have simple and pivot based sway methods, but now they both add a very nice spring effect. This draggable or snappy menu has also been added and this is definitely gonna boost your development productivity a lot. You see, sometimes when trying to find a weapon or a weapon SO, navigating through the folders is not the coolest thing ever. So, you can now simply click on the Cousins button and click here to take you to the Weapons folder. Or maybe to the Weapons SO folder. Or maybe we even want to open the documentation directly. Now, this third button, we'll talk about it later because this is gonna be a big addition. Anyway, let's say that you don't want to see this button. No worries at all, it's very easy to close or if you decide to show it back again, it's as easy as disabling it. Speaking of ease, it's also very easy to add your own buttons and expand the menu. However, what's this third button? Clicking on this takes us to the brand new weapon creation assistant. Making weapons in FPS Engine is easy, but I just wanted to make things even easier. This assistant takes you through a few steps where you just need to drag and drop the assets you want to use and the assistant will set it all up for you, including weapon presets, animations, etc. So the only thing left for you is getting into the weapon prefab, adjusting the weapon location and customize your weapon as much as you want. Very simple, right? Alright, now we got the debugging tools. Nothing too fancy, yet useful. These are not enabled by default, so you just need to drag and drop this player debugger component into your player and you'll see very harmful information about the state of your player. Next, we got a very interesting feature that you guys suggested in the Discord server, which you can join by clicking on the link in the description, by the way. You can now add ballots to your weapons on pickup if that weapon already exists in your inventory. I think this is a nice addition, especially for more arcade or classic games. Following up with the interactions, you can now override the interaction time on certain interactables. Let's say you want to instantly pick up weapons, but you want to be able to hold to open a door. Well, you can do that now. Speaking of doors, a new offset property has been added so you can now make sliding doors as well very easily. Now, the main menu has also been reworked with a brand new aesthetic, which is absolutely better than before. Moreover, we got a lot of enhancements and other minor improvements such as better physics settings, simplified import processes, improved jump motion, more stamina options, better wall run motions and more. All of that coming soon to FPS Engine in the next update 1.3, so stay tuned for news and see you there.